You live in New Jersey. What does COVID-19 or the China virus or Chinese virus or the coronavirus mean to you? What's that song? Anyway, that's uh, whatever. It's, uh, everybody's making fun of that. Anyway, I don't know where to begin with this whole thing. Like, I felt like I had to make a piece of content. By the way, most of the content posted on this video channel or blog, uh, njroot22.com, njroot22.com, is done like uh, way in advance. So like this is something that we've kind of like uh, done like, I don't know, breaking news or whatever you want to call it. Um, we're kind of like uh, weirded out by this whole thing because number one, we don't like government uh, restrictions and it appears getting a lot closer to martial law. It's, it's literally almost martial law at this point in New Jersey. Curfews in a lot of states and restrictions and social distancing and all this stuff. And, you know, you watch the president's, um, President Trump, Donald J. Trump, uh, his uh, press conferences every day, he seems to think that this is uh, not a big deal. And I, I personally, since the beginning, have really tended to think it's not a big deal. Um, I don't know. I can't claim to know anything. Um, apparently, there have been a lot of deaths. I, I don't know. No one knows, frankly. Unless you're the healthcare professional that personally tended to each and every single solitary death victim of claiming to be part of this this uh, virus, nobody knows. You you are only you only believe what you're told, and that's kind of like a big deal to understand. That like when you look at like websites and and uh, charts and you see charts. Oh, there's 300,000 people, 400,000 people infected, and then this many people are, are sick and in in uh, what do you call it uh, in healthcare and in the hospital or whatever. And this many people are serious, and this many people are dead, and this many people recovered. It it becomes kind of um, like a circular kind of hell to live in. Um, because how many of you know precisely down to the exact diagnosis and everything, whether it's real or not? Because in theory, um, there's a couple things that can happen here. Number one, the infection rate could be a lot higher. Heck, I had this horrible freaking weird four day or three day pain and, 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 and fever kind of thing, chills in January, I think it was, and it went away. Maybe I got it and got over it. Who knows? Um, at the same time, when they say 400,000 people or whatever the number is today uh, are infected, maybe it's 4 million and the actual mortality rate is right in line with the ordinary flu. And I've read a lot of uh, theories that this is this was a man-made uh, virus in China or whatever it came from, and I've read other even worse uh, theories that it was it was. There's all sorts of conspiracies going on that it was infected or put into other places for whatever reason. I don't really care. Um, I'm I look around, and all the only thing I can really truly see is societal change. I don't see dead bodies piling up in the street. And in America, you don't see that. But in America, you see video of these things happening in other countries, such as Italy or China. And you see people like on, on the street with their masks on or under uh, body bags or whatever those blankets are called. So I don't know. But here in New Jersey, we're not in a, like, a really populated area, but uh, like life seems to be kind of just uh, the same. Um, we never really went out much to begin with. We did our store runs and we take care of our property and our animals and our children and so on. Uh, we didn't do much. We weren't really kind of like city dwellers who just milled around other people and went 
Like, I guess certain things you would do, um, we're, we're not doing as much anymore. Um, uh, you know, we get delivery from the supermarket, and of course, like I'm, I'm I don't think this this virus is like this green plague that kind of just coats everything. <laughs> everything needs to be disinfected. I mean, if you touch stuff, just uh, wash your hands when you're done touching it, and then you should be okay. But you know, some people I know are disinfecting everything. Like they'll disinfect the uh, the cardboard box from Amazon, then disinfect the box, the plastic coated box inside, then rip the plastic off and disinfect that box again, and then take the box apart and then disinfect the disinfect the product inside. At that point, I think there's there's some kind of like reason to worry and like what the hell am I doing here? Um, and there's another problem. And that is the misinformation or whatever, non-information about how long does this stupid virus live? How long does a flu virus live on a surface? Like the ordinary flu. I mean, th there's different flus every year. There's different strains. I don't know, 20 different strains of flus because they mutate as they pass through the human system. Um, every year and they go from hemisphere up and down and then there's a flu. There, everybody always has the flu, always, on planet Earth. But, like, there's no solid information about how long a flu virus stays. And of course they say, oh, different strains of flu have aerosol capabilities or, or non-aerosol capabilities. Like, they, they die quickly and like, I don't know, I don't know. I guess there's, it's like different uh, when you buy a gun, you say, oh, this one has a better range, better trigger, better sight. I don't know. Maybe there's different features for every virus, just like anything else in life. Um, but they're saying, like, I've seen so many different reports, 12 hours, 2 hours, 3 hours, 5 hours, 17 days, it can stay alive. And, like, at what point do you say, what the F is going on? Why can't they get their freaking facts together. Why can't someone say, hey, listen, you dopes, this is what the true thing is. This, I've seen a hundred, maybe more, different variations of how long this virus, uh, what, or what they claim this virus is, can stay alive. And, this, and at that point, you're like, well, you know, stop with this, please. It gets worse over time. Oh, they always find the worst case um, scenario and pump it up just to make more people scared. Uh, it was on Drudge, Monday uh, the 23rd. 17 days you can stay alive. So that's going to make people like say stay hunkered down for a lot longer and need a lot more wine. In case you didn't know, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking wine because box wine, that Franzia back box wine I, I reviewed like uh, last year or even longer, um, the dark red box wine for like six, 17 bucks for s almost seven bottles of wine. It comes out to like literally like two bucks, um, two, two and a half dollars a, a bottle of wine. You cannot get a better, um, what do you call it, it's a prepper wine than that. It, it's good too because it's 13 and a half percent alcohol. And it's not, it's not a hangover wine. I, I like it. I, I, we may actually switch to it permanently after this because it's, it's damn good. There's nothing wrong with it. It may be our number one. They buy stock in Franzia if you can or whatever the, the uh, holding company is. So that's it. I, I really don't know what anybody else is doing here. We're, we're, we're kind of hunkering down because some people in our family... Um, want to err on the side of caution and that means you know don't see people don't gather don't go to stores and we order our food to be delivered and we uh, uh, sanitize our our boxes and all that stuff and it, it's it it's a little bit maddening but it, you know luckily you don't go out as much and you know what happens when you need gasoline maybe this is a good interesting point maybe new jersey finally will change their their, uh, their gasoline pumps to self-serve because that would be kind of cool because self-serve is, is generally faster than, uh, than getting somebody to help you because sometimes you have to wait. Just pump your own gas. This 
will probably change that in my guess. I'm guessing it'll change it, but uh, you never know. Uh, I don't like the current uh, the governing uh, system we have in New Jersey at all. I, I really truly don't like it at all. It's, this, is, this has to change. So whoever's watching this, please um, vote for a more conservative, uh, business-minded uh, politician. Even though Trump, I think, said uh, on Sunday night that, uh, that uh, he liked uh, Mr. Murphy in this, in this, in this state. But I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan. There's something profoundly wrong. We're not really into politics, but I can just sense that there's something artificially wrong with this uh, this state. We need to fix it um, and get back to, to, to the hardcore working blue collar and also white, um, what do you call it, the, the blue collar, the white collar, and the rural working state that we used to be. Um, there's something, something going on here. I'm rambling. Please, if you want to share your thoughts in New Jersey about uh, what's going on with this uh, scare, um, latest scare and, and pandemic, and whether you think it's going to just like fizzle out, uh, we were kind of um, optimistic that it's not going to be as bad as they say. But you never know what levers are, are tweaking uh, what's going on here. So there, this, this could be more nefarious than you think. Um, I don't know. It, it, there's so many unknowns here. It, it's, uh, it's one of those things, right? Like, you really don't know. As much as you think you know and you have all these opinions, like, I personally think I just don't know what is going on here. Because everything we are talking about in this uh, blogosphere, vlogosphere, YouTube, is based on what other people have said. How many people really know what is really going on? That's it. If you like the video and this channel, please like and subscribe and, and visit our website at njroot22.com if you can. It'll help. I need to build up my subscriber list. I don't think I, I, I have so few uh, subscribers. I've been online for like almost two years. Um, I'd like to get some comments going. I have a message board. There's a lot of things going on that, on that site. I just don't have the time to promote it the way um, other more popular blogs can, can promote it, like nonstop promoting. Um, but we have good content. If you look and read, we have really good content. I hope for sensible-minded people at least. So have a nice week ahead. And this was a special video. The rest of my videos I filmed like, I don't know, months ago. Have a nice week and uh, don't get viruses, please. Thumbs up.